everybody. It's time for Friday Favorites, where I read some of my favorite stories. Today I have two stories to read, Mouse Paint and Mouse Count, and they're both written and pictures made by Ellen Stoll Walsh. So I'm going to read Mouse Paint first. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. They were white and the paper was white and the cat couldn't even see them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint and they climbed right in. Look at this one. Oh, this mice, mouse climbed into the yellow paint head first. You can only see his tail. Then one mouse was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. What do you like to do in puddles? I like to step in them, stomp and splash. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His feet stirred the yellow puddle until... <gasps> Look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. Oh. His red paint mixed in the yellow paint and made orange. Look, now his feet are orange too. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, hmm, what do you think is gonna happen? His yellow feet in the blue puddle. <gasps> Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. What? And look, now his feet are green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until <gasps> purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. I recognize it's kind of hard to see over the camera, but this is purple and his feet are purple. But hmm, the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. <laughs> it looks kind of like they're wearing little pants with their different colored paint, but they started to get sticky and stiff. So. They washed themselves down to a nice, soft white. Do you see where they're washing themselves? These letters, C-A-T, spell cat. This is the cat's water bowl. They're using it like a bathtub. That's so silly. And they painted the paper instead. They painted one part red, and one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. They mixed yellow and blue to paint a green part and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. <laughs> they left a white spot so they could still hide from the cat. There's the cat's tail. So silly. I love that story. All right, I have another story about mice. This one is called Mouse Count. Ooh, what kind of animal is that? I think that's a snake. Do you know that snakes eat mice? They like to eat mice and small animals like that. One day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch for snakes. Hard time turning the page, here we go. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes and they all took 
naps. What do you think it sounds like when mice are sleeping? I bet they have a quiet little snore, just a little. Instead of a loud. Oh, while they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. And on his way, he found a nice big jar. I'll fill this jar with dinner, he said. So I'm going to go look for dinner to put in the jar. It wasn't long before he found three mice, little warm and tasty, fast asleep. First, I will count them, and then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count. One. Two, three, he dropped them into the jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. Soon he found four more mice, little warm and tasty, fast asleep, and he counted them. Four, five, six, seven. But the snake was very, very hungry, and seven mice were not enough. At last, he found three more mice, little warm and tasty, fast asleep, and he counted them. Eight, nine, ten. Ooh, ten mice are enough. Now I'm gonna eat you up, little warm and tasty, said the snake. I notice how he wrapped his long body around that jar. Wait, said one of the mice. The jar isn't full yet. And look at that big mouse over there. The snake was greedy and he hurried off to get the big mouse. Ooh, so one of the mice pointed at a, a big mouse far away. The snake went to get it. While he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way and rocked it another way. They rocked it and rocked it and rocked it. And what do you think is going to happen? Let's see. <gasps> Until over it went. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The mice all uncounted themselves and ran home. <laughs> the snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a rock. Oh, that mouse tricked him, didn't it? And when he got back, the jar was empty. See the jar? That mouse was smart and tricked the snake so they could escape. And there later, that mouse goes and does a little pose, a happy pose on the rock. Hmm. That snake was greedy. He wanted more than he already had. And he ended up with nothing. All right, my friends, I will talk to you soon. Have a good day.